Coming up next, it's a lightweight tilt between Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets. Also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, zombie, jiu-jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw Shades in the McGregor fight, yes. but not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. A grappler holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, 5 losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. Ready. Thoughts on Connor and how he will approach this challenge tonight. Well, you feel it, right? You feel the big fight feel when these two are locked in the octagon. I think Connor understands that he has to take a different approach. He cannot fight in the same way that he did the first time he fought Habib. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Straight punch lands. Whoa! Zeus hurts him. Serves him up. Go get him. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? He loaded up there on that high oh. kick. Oh, big kick, Lance Flush. Big pop. 
across the punch land. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Trying to double up on that jab. Big kick land. Head kick. His opponent's on Deep Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nurmagomedov gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down to see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances. This position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have driven the ankle, maybe he would have secured the top position. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks yeah, in the right. previous round, we'll see right. if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's giving his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight. As huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're... That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. So 39 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And still landing at a pretty good clip, DC, landing with 58% accuracy against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Driving the back of the head. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. My triangle, my triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. Nicely done. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, he put him to sleep. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice punch by Nomago Meta. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout. 
but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go, third and final round. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown to That is his biggest strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. Oh, and now he slams him to the ground. Fight stats for you now, 59 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. <laughs> Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 41 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.